Hey, hey, this is Julian and you're on Eat The Blocks. And in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can learn blockchain programming with no coding experience. So blockchain is a very technical topic and a lot of it is based on web technologies. So if you try to read online tutorial about blockchain programming, a lot of them will already assume that you have a certain foundational knowledge on web technology and probably that you'll be a little bit overwhelmed because you'll learn all the new stuff about blockchain programming. Plus, you'll also encounter all these concepts of web programming that you also don't know. So instead of diving straight into blockchain programming, here is what I recommend you. So first, you should start to learn about blockchain technology in general, but more like as a user, not necessarily as a programmer. So for example, you can start to, uh, to read books like uh, Mastering Bitcoin of uh, Andres uh, Antonopoulos. He explained very well how the Bitcoin blockchain work and Bitcoin blockchain is very foundational. A lot of other blockchain technology uh, are sort of derived from, from Bitcoin. So it's very important to understand how it works. Um, so Bitcoin is good, but it's a bit limited. And if you want to become a blockchain developer, you probably need to learn some more sophisticated blockchain like Ethereum. That's where you will really be able to develop a decentralized application, which are the kind of application that are built on the blockchain. So the same author, Andreas Antonopoulos, he also wrote a book on, um, on Ethereum programming, but I think think it's too technical for a beginner with no programming experience. So once you have a basic understanding of how blockchain work, what you should do is start to learn some web development. So web development is about building web applications. So for example, when you visit Facebook, this is a web application. Uh, when you connect to your bank to do some online operation, that's also another kind of application. So web developers, they know how to make that kind of application. The problem is web development is really huge. There are many sub areas like uh, security, uh, working with API, backend, frontend. And if you try to learn web development in a general way, you probably waste a lot of time learning about things that are not strictly required for blockchain. Uh, in particular, uh, there are things on the back end that we don't really need, like, I don't know, how to connect to a database, um, a lot of the back end development, how to, how to deploy a complex website uh, on a, a server. That's not really something we need uh, with a, for a decentralized application because these applications are really front end heavy and they don't have much back end. But if you just register for some, uh, uh, online bootcamp of, for web development, they're probably going to teach you a lot of stuff about backend as well. So you're going to waste a lot of time. So here are the things that you need to learn for web development if you want to become a blockchain developer. So you need to learn HTML, so the structure of pages. You need to learn CSS, so how to style the page, the web websites. Uh, and you learn, need to learn JavaScript, so how to make the elements move inside inside your page, how to make your, your website dynamic. Um, and once you have a, a, a good uh, base, uh, um, good foundational knowledge about these things, then you can start to learn about blockchain programming. Actually, I have prepared a short email course to uh, get you started with web development. So it's only going to teach you what you need to know if you want to become a blockchain developer. So you won't waste any time learning things that you don't know. So if you want to get your hand on this, it's totally free. You just follow the link in the description and I'm going to send you uh, all these emails. Next, once you have some basic knowledge about web development, the next step is to start learning actually about blockchain programming. So blockchain programming is about building decentralized applications. So these applications are web applications, so they live on the web, but one of the API is the blockchain. So they connect to, to the blockchain and especially they connect to a smart contract. So a smart contract is a small program that lives on the blockchain. 
and not execute in the blockchain. So there is nobody that control this spot contract. It's the blockchain that run it. So it's absolutely impossible to hack it. So you're going to reuse a lot of your skills of web developer, but you're also going to learn how you need to uh, integrate with this smart contract. So you need to connect to it. And for that, we, we use a library that is called Web3. Um, and you also need to learn how to write a smart contract. And for that, we need a programming language that is called Solidity. Actually, on my channel, I teach a lot of Solidity, so you can check out my, my video on the topic. Um, Solidity is um, resemble JavaScript, but it's quite misleading because this is actually quite different. Um, so I really don't recommend you to start your learning by, by Solidity. This should not be your first programming language because otherwise, if you learn other programming language, you're going to compare with Solidity and it's not going to be good. The Solidity has very weird concepts that are very specific to the blockchain. So it should not be your first programming language. Um, so yeah, so once you're ready to, uh, to learn blockchain programming, you start learning about uh, about solidity, and so you'll you'll know how to how to run a, how to develop a smart contract, and uh, and yeah, and after with your web skills, you'll be able to connect to this smart contract and show to the end user a nice user interface so that it can interact with uh, with this smart contract, and at that point you you will be a, a become a blockchain developer. But as I said before, you need to get started with, uh, with uh, web development. So make sure to follow my free course. Uh, and once you have this, uh, this good for national knowledge, then you can get started with blockchain programming and, and check out all my videos uh, on my channel. I have tons of stuff uh, like uh, about smart contract programming, but also how to integrate with a smart contract and how to build the front end for a decentralized application. So that's pretty much it on how you can learn blockchain programming with absolutely no coding experience. If you have any question, you can ask them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another video about blockchain or Ethereum programming. Bye bye.